Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn. In today's episode, we're doing a continuation of the NFL Draft Bust Analytics series, uh, with this episode dealing with Cedric Benson, uh, running back out of Texas, who was drafted by the Chicago Bears in the top five of the 2005 NFL Draft class. Uh, I wanted to do this series of videos to highlight players that were considered busts uh, but ultimately data could have saved these teams, could have warned them, if you will, of some of the major concerns that they have on paper um, that, that, that to prevent the downfall of this team for drafting them that high. Uh, so if you're new to the channel and new to the work that I do, all terms and definitions will be in the description. And with all that stuff all the way, let's get to Cedric Benson's overall profile. Uh, first off, when you look at Cedric Benson's profile, the production data does certainly check the boxes, uh, he was 87.33 market share production guy, didn't quite hit the all pro career threshold, but definitely was only two points away from it. And when you look at the averages at the position, uh, only three points away, uh, well, three to four points away from the average all pro score and definitely above the pro bowl and starter score. So what gives with Cedric Benson? Why, why did Cedric Benson have um, the trouble that he had if he had such good production data? And the answer is athleticism data. Um, when you look at his athleticism coming out, and this is based on uh, his uh, basically size for athleticism, he only had a 57.36 explosive lower body strength score, a 53.59 speed score, and a 27.07 flexibility score. Uh, and when it comes to the running back position, since 1999, uh, the vast majority, um, in fact, all um, multiple Pro Bowl and multiple All Pro running backs had at least one 79 or higher athleticism trait. So Cedric Benson did have good production, but his athleticism was downright dreadful. And on top of that, when you think about the three cone that Cedric Benson had, he did not have a 7.09 three cone. And uh, in many ways, the three cone determines um, potential as well, because 95% of multiple all pro and pro bowl running backs had at least a 7.09 three cone or less. Um, so Cedric Benson kind of filled the marks from an athleticism standpoint. And this is definitely not a top five back because you have to hit all the traits. And I do understand it gets kind of funny. Like, so you're saying, you know, they have to hit this and this and this, and then they're good. And yes, generational running backs are extremely productive. They're about as productive as Cedric Benson, but they also have really great athleticism traits to go along with that production and, um, and great age as well. And age was not really a concern with Cedric Benson. Production wasn't a concern with Cedric Benson, but athleticism definitely was. So if the draft was to happen all over again, Cedric Benson honestly should have been a day two running back or even further than that because of his athleticism traits. Um, not a top five overall pick. Um, and the reason I wanted to do, do this video is because, again, people cite the 2005 uh, season as the, you know, the reason why running backs are devalued. Uh, is that you know the running back position, you know, it's just a crapshoot and you can find them in the fifth round and the sixth round and stuff like that And I, I think the reason why you can find great running backs in the fifth and the sixth round uh, Is because the NFL doesn't really know how to evaluate running backs that great and when you look at the data when you look at the stuff on paper You can see why you know when you look at a, a guy like Cedric Benson being drafted in the top five who didn't have a single 79 or higher athleticism trait which is a huge red flag. You start to you start to see the pieces that it's it's not that running backs are being devalued. It's it's not that you can find running backs anywhere. It's that NFL evaluators are letting these players be available in the sixth round, in the fifth round, in the fourth round, in day two, because they just don't have as good of a grasp on evaluating the running back position than they think they do when it comes to stuff on paper, like production or athleticism traits, at least in terms of Cedric Benson's case. So with all that stuff out of the way, of course, my name is James Coburn. You can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jim Metrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so you're always reminded of another video of my drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.